Connecting Google Search Console to your Squarespace website is a crucial step for optimizing your site's visibility and performance in search results. It can also give you various insights as to how your website is performing. And that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm a Squarespace expert and Squarespace authorized trainer. Really quick before we dive in, if you are in the process of creating your own Squarespace website, make sure you go grab my discount code so you can get 20% off Squarespace when you're ready to go live. You can find it at designingtherow.com slash Squarespace. Okay, first off, what is Google Search Console? It's a free tool provided by Google, obviously, that helps you monitor your site's presence in Google search results. Think of it as your website's control center for all things search related. In that control center, I personally like to focus on four main features. Indexing status, site map submission, performance tracking, and search optimization insights. But first, let's connect your Squarespace website to Google Search Console so you can take advantage of all these things. And then I'll go through each and give you the rundown. I'm going to use Steep Canyon Rangers as an example for this tutorial. They're a Grammy award-winning bluegrass band based in North Carolina. I can't remember if these guys were the first or second client I built on Squarespace, but either way, I'm very thankful they've stuck around with me through the years and thankful that they agreed to let me use them and their website for this example. So thanks guys. Okay, so when you're logged into your website with the sidebar on the left, you'll click into analytics, traffic, and then the search keywords tab. If you haven't yet connected Google Search Console to your account, you'll see the connect button. Click that and you'll be prompted to log into Google. And it's as quick and easy as that. Once you connect, your site will start collecting data and you can come back to the same search keywords tab to get insights whenever you'd like. Now that you're connected, let's go back and talk about indexing status. So when a page is indexed, it means that Google has crawled the page and added it to its search index. This allows the page to appear in results when someone makes a relevant search. If a page isn't indexed, it won't show up in search results. So ensuring that your important pages are indexed is crucial for driving traffic to your site. And in order to do that, you need to submit your sitemap. Your sitemap also helps Google understand the structure of your site, making it easier, easier for them to crawl and index your pages. Now that you're connected to the console, we can submit your sitemap. If you're on Squarespace, which I'm assuming you are at this point, your sitemap is automatically generated for you and it's located at whatever your domain is .com slash sitemap.xml. You don't have to go there, just have that URL ready and go to your Google Search Console. Honestly, the quickest way that I know how to get there is just to Google Google Search Console and get in that way. Once you're logged in and you see this sidebar panel on the left, navigate to sitemaps, enter your sitemap URL, and then click submit. And that's all you have to do to submit your sitemap. If you're just connecting to the console, you'll need to wait for data to accumulate. But once it does, you can take advantage of the performance tracking metrics. This will show you things about your website and how it's showing up in search results, like number of clicks and impressions. And you get so much more than just how many clicks your site is getting from search. It will show you exactly what keyword phrases people are searching for that land them on your site. It'll show you where you rank in search results how many people saw you in their search results compared to how many people actually clicked and what pages they're clicking through to. Something else I love about Google Search Console is that it sends me a monthly report with an overview of these stats in an email. It's a great reminder to check in on my analytics, which leads me to my last point about the search optimization insights. It not only provides valuable insights into how your site performs in search, but also it shows you where you can improve. This includes suggestions for optimizing your content based on search trends. You can leverage this data by identifying the high performance pages, like looking for pages that are getting the most clicks and impressions and consider optimizing them further or even creating more similar content. You can monitor your search queries, 
and check which search queries, or I prefer the word keyword phrases, bring traffic to your site and adapt your content strategy accordingly. For example, I recently realized that I had a post that was doing really well on my blog and it included a YouTube video embed that I had actually since made unlisted on YouTube. So I came right back over here to YouTube and made that public again, as it's clearly content that people are searching for. And last but not least, make sure to fix the errors. Google Search Console will alert you of any indexing issues or errors, and you can resolve them to maintain your site's visibility. If you do get the error, the Search Console report will tell you exactly what the error is so you can know how to fix it. And that's it. You've successfully connected Google Search Console to your Squarespace site, submitted your site map, and learned how to use the tool to enhance your site's SEO strategy. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on optimizing your website. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.